So in the last video, we looked at applying very specific color corrections to uh, clips here. And now I want to show how to do some global changes. So I'm going to go up to the view menu and toggle the inspector height to get more room here on the timeline. I'm going to select all of my clips. And by selecting all of them, we can make a global change. So I'm going to use the balance color here, and I'm going to check off balance color to balance the color across all of the shots here. And you'll notice if I do that, the automatic balance doesn't look great. It's, it's kind of all over the place across these clips. So I would want to balance each of them individually. But let's say I do want to make a global change that's not that automatic tool. I'm going to use Command-Z to undo the automatic balance. And instead, what I'm going to do is group all of these clips into a compound clip. So you can do this either by right-clicking and saying New Compound Clip, or using the shortcut Option G. And in the little drop-down at the top here, we get an option here to name this compound clip. So I'm going to call it Scene 4. I need to call it comp, uh, for Compound Clip. And it's going to put it into the Overtime event, which makes sense because we do only have one event in this library. And then I'll click on OK. And what you'll notice is all of those clips have just been merged together into one clip. And if I wanted to, I could double click on the compound clip to open it. I see all those individual clips. I can make changes to them. And then I can use my timeline history here to go back a step outside of that compound clip to my entire project. And what this lets me do now is I can actually select this clip, go up to my color inspector, and I can make a global change to this clip, and it's going to affect all of the clips. So I'm going to make a drastic change here. Make, uh, let me go to the exposure tab. That usually is the most obvious. I'm going to drag my uh, whites all the way up, and then my shadows all the way down here. And notice as I drag across this clip, all of the clips have been adjusted, making that very, very dark uh, clip. So I don't want, obviously I don't like that. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to drag my shadows down just a little bit. I'm going to drag the highlights up. And then maybe the, uh, the mid-tones. Mid-tones will go up a little bit. So I'm just uh, applying a very subtle change to the entire project uh, by doing it using the compound clip here to create that ominous look there. So that's how you can apply a global change or global color correction across multiple clips group them all into a compound clip, and then you can make that adjustment. In a similar way, I know we're talking about color correction, but you can do this with audio as well. So I could go up to my uh, audio inspector here, check the loudness box, and this is going to go and balance the audio across all of those clips.